rescue. New Orleans police have released body cam video of a shooting involving officers and a suspect earlier this month. News 10's Kenny Lopez has the video and what the chief had to say about the officer's response. What are you? This is body cam footage of 52 seconds of gunfire between NOPD officers and a suspect near Franklin and St. Claude Avenues on November 6th after 11 p.m. NOPD responded to an EMS call that a man was passed out in his car and had a 22 caliber gun on the passenger seat. When police arrived, the driver, 42-year-old Dante Frazier, tried to get away but hit a pole. Officer Rakeem Jones then stopped Frazier at the Shell gas station on the corner of Franklin and St. Claude. Put, let me see your hands. Let me see both your hands. Right here. Stop, just, let me see your hands. But then things rapidly changed. He then grabbed his weapon from the vehicle and fled from the officer. A foot chase between Officer Jones and Frazier followed. During the course of this foot pursuit, Mr. Frazier then turned with his weapon drawn towards Officer Jones, who then fired three shots at Mr. Frazier. Then an eight-year NOPD veteran, Jason Adams, arrived to assist Officer Jones. And once he was fired upon, he then, too, discharged his fire weapon. A total of 16 shots were fired by both officers during this encounter. Uh, we do believe that Mr. Frazier fired as many as nine uh, shots. Fifteen minutes later, Officer Jones found the suspect hiding under a house on the 1100 block of Music Street, and he was arrested. I'm not resisting. Frazier did have a gunshot wound to his right foot. Cops believe it was self-inflicted. Now Superintendent Sean Ferguson is proud of how his officers handled the incident. And I'm going to help you out. Let's go. Officer Jones, who could have been killed during this exchange of gunfire, showed restraint, showed professionalism, even showed empathy. And Officer Jones did a hell of a job. Kenny Lopez, KLFY News 10.